Ah, December is a busy time of year. I was busy with college exams, plus visiting with friends and family. Somehow I still managed to read quite a bit, and I ended up actually picking up quite a few books. So today I'm going to be doing a winter slash Christmas book haul. First up, I'll be talking about the books that I got before Christmas, um, starting off with The Doldrums by Nicholas Gannon. And I also got the sequel, The Doldrums and The Helmsley Curse. I actually have reviews up for both of these already, and I will link those down below if you want to know what they are about. They are really fun middle grade reads. Next, I picked up Autonomous by Annalie Newitz, and this book just sounds so crazy. The main character is like a pharmaceutical pirate. She reverse engineers drugs and distributes them, all while traveling the world in a submarine. However, her latest drug is leaving a trail of lethal overdoses, and she, as well as some other characters, have to go and stop this, like, drug epidemic. But it is a decently short book. I'll have to read it soon and put up a proper review. Next, I picked up Red Seas Under Red Skies. This is the sequel to The Lies of Locke Lamora, which I plan on reading very soon, so I bought this just to be uh, prepared. I'm not going to talk about the story in this book since it is a sequel and I haven't even read the first book yet, but I have heard some amazing things and I've been recommended this series by so many people that know like the fantasy series that I love and enjoy and I know this is most likely going to be one of those. Next up is Charon's Claw by R.A. Salvatore. Uh, this is the third book in the Neverwinter series, and I've just been collecting all of these books by R.A. Salvatore because I'm slowly reading through The Legend of Drist, and I know eventually I will get caught up with it. Um, so whenever I find them on sale, I buy them, and this book was on sale for $4, when usually the hardcover is uh, $29.95. So yeah, $4 is a pretty good deal. And then as a graduation present for finishing college, I got Sea of Rust by um, C. Robert Cargill. Now this book I've been interested in for the past few months. It just sounds really, really good. It takes place in the future when no humans exist. Basically, robots have taken over and there is a one intelligence like robot system where it hooks all the robots up to one uh, like AI system. Um, but there are some rogue robots that don't want to be hooked up to this one intelligence and they kind of uh, break free and they have to live in the Sea of Rust. The main character is Brittle, um, this robot who basically goes about cannibalizing robots, like stripping them of parts and using their parts. That's how it starts off anyway, but I'm really excited to see where this book goes. Also, I went to a used bookstore and found all of these Zelda manga. Uh, it ends up costing me $7 in total for all of these. There is Majora's Mask, The Phantom Hourglass, Four Swords Part 1, and Part 2, and Oracle of Ages. Next, I bought The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This book has one of my favorite covers of all time. I'm actually in the middle of reading this one, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It takes place in the Russian wilderness, where basically winter is the majority of the year, uh, and it mixes a ton of, like, Russian fairy tales into the book, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I can't wait to see where it goes, and I know there's a sequel out as well, because I got the sequel for Christmas, and this one has another very beautiful cover. It is called The Girl in the Tower. For Christmas, I also got The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, the annotated edition, and I've been wanting this book for a while now. It is a masterpiece of satire. It's from the perspective of a demon named Screwtape as he writes letters to his nephew named Wormwood, um, but it's really a look at humanity and uh, about temptation and overcoming temptation, and I've just heard it's a masterpiece. I've never read it before, but I really want to. Next, I got The Heroes of Tolkien by David Day. This will go really well with my copies of The Battles of Tolkien, as well as The Illustrated Atlas. This book doesn't really go uh, too in-depth, but it has some brief little summaries about things in Middle Earth. Well, in this case, the heroes of Middle Earth. And it also has some really beautiful illustrations. And then the last book is one that my cousin got me, and that is Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. I'm sure most of you fantasy lovers have heard of this book. It's from the Malison Book of the Fallen uh, series, and it's a series that I've wanted to read for a really long time now. It's a very long series, but I love fantasy books like this, so I'll have to start it soon. So these are all the books that I got in December. Let me know if you have read any of them and what you thought of them, or maybe if I should bump some up on my to-be-read list. This might actually be my last book haul. I'm not really too sure, um, but I just feel like I want to make more quality content, and I don't find book hauls to be that quality of content, but I do know a lot of people like watching them, so I'll have to see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.